We've all found ourselves stuck in an airport at one point or another, trying our best to pass the time with the numerous shops and food stalls to visit, looking out the windows wondering how the city is out there. If you happen to be in Singapore, then you can consider yourself lucky. Because if your layover is for three hours or more, you can head to the city and experience Singapore. Once you pass through immigration and get your visa, make full use of your afternoon to explore Singapore. Are you ready for your whirlwind Singapore adventure? Hop on the free city shuttle to town and find out what the city has to offer. Hi, we'll be guiding you to a place that's called Suntec. You'll be dropped off at Suntec Center, a great place to kick off your first hour in Singapore. Suntec is a shopping destination in itself, and it houses dozens of stores with everything under the sky. A must-see is the Fountain of Wealth, hailed as the world's largest fountain by the Guinness Book of World Records. The design of the fountain is symbolically the ring in the palm of the hand, ensuring the retention of wealth. When the fountain is turned off, you can walk around the mini fountain at the center of the fountain space for good luck. Circle the fountain while touching the water and make a wish. Drop by the Koi Garden to take a breather. Rounding of your first hour in the city, go through Suntech Center and the maze of underground walkways that is the City Link Mall. Check out the different art displays that lead to the Esplanade, theaters on the bay, the nearby Performing Arts Center. Fashioned after the durian fruit, the Esplanade building houses various spaces that offer diverse programs to culturally enrich Singapore. Just across the bay is Merlion Park. The Lion City's icon to the rest of the world is this statue of a lion with a fish tail resting on waves. Retrace your steps through the underground walkways. Step onto the MRT and head to Little India. A look at another side of Singapore. The second hour of your tour is more vibrant than ever. The district's backbone is the North-South Serangoon Road. The center of Singapore's Indian community is alive with splashes of color and spice-scented streets. You can't miss the Sri Vira Makalyaman Temple. Outside, deities stared down at you, daring you to be bad so that they could mercilessly smite you and put you in your place. This is one of the oldest temples in Singapore. Take off your shoes and take a peek into Hinduism. At the door, devotees ring the bells to signal their arrival. After all that walking, stop at one of the hawker food stalls, buy a drink and try the famous chicken rice of Singapore. Savor the simplicity of the dish. This is just a taste of what Singapore has to offer. Your afternoon tour is about to end, so get a move on and head to the MRT station. But mind you, be careful of those escalators. Singapore has a public bus system, but with a daily count of over a million commuters, the MRT has 64 stops that are a godsend for travelers, covering all four corners of the city, definitely making it easy to take in as much of Singapore as you can in an afternoon. Another MRT ride will bring you to Bugis Station. Bugis Street no longer has the bars and transvestites it was known for. The junction is now the largest street market in the city, with sheltered walkways and air-conditioned shopping zones. What time is it? Keep track of the time because you have to catch the shuttle back to the airport and your flight out of the city. Luckily, there's still time to take in the laser light show at Suntech City. In the evenings, the Fountain of Wealth doubles as a setting for a multimedia laser light show. Take a load off and sit back. Tick-tock, it's time for the ride back to the airport. Board the bus and enjoy your last minutes in the city. You've only spent an afternoon in the Lion City. Singapore is a melting pot full of culture, a unique mix that is worth visiting. Imagine what you can discover the next time you're in town. Another trip to look forward to.